We are in Fusion 360. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new cabinetry project using configured cabinets. First, we're going to create a new project, little kitchen. Then we can start to upload configured cabinets from the Cabinet Fusion library that I sell from my link in the description. I'll select all the units in this folder minus the original minus the original zip file and then click open. Then upload. And wait while all the parts are being uploaded. It's going to take a little while, so I have sped this up. Let's create a new working file and save it. Now we can drag in the cabinets that we want. But first, let's make walls. We'll make a room. I like to create my walls with miter corners. And now we are ready to drag in the appropriate cabinets. Let's start with a corner cabinet. Like I, I like to call this one the pie cut. Put the corner cabinet in. I'm going to use the arrows to drag the cabinet might even change the origin point to the back corner here. Then we can use the arrows to actually snap it into place. We drag it a little bit, then click the wall. It snaps to the wall. Drag the other arrow, drag it a little bit, click the wall, and it is snapped into place. Once the cabinet is in place, we want to save this as an save and replace. We'll save it and replace as an independent non-configured cabinet component rather than a shared one. We can give it a new name, cabinet 01, and now we are able to edit the cabinet in place and change its parameters. We're going to drag in a new cabinet uh, drawer bank, select the top drawer system, and Press OK. All right, let's use the arrows to drag into a place that we can start to manipulate it. Rotate it 90 degrees. We'll use the Positioning arrow, drag in the direction we want, click the wall, it snaps into place. We're going to move the origin to the front corner here. Confirm the origin, drag in the direction we want, click the gable of the cabinet we want to snap to. Okay. Let's turn off some of these uh, work features. Save and replace. Always after each insertion. Rename the cabinet, maybe cabinet two. All right. And we can edit it in place and change the width of the cabinet. All right, looks like we're going to have to move this again.
Now we have an error here. Integrated kicks were not supposed to be part of this cabinet, yet here it is. So we're going to have to go back into the cabinet, edit in place, and we'll look for the actual features that controls this, and we will delete those features. All right, we've come out of the edit in place, and now we're going to insert more cabinets. And we're speeding up the video at this time. We have the general gist. We insert, we drag it into place. We save and replace. We rename. Hit save. Maybe we even edit in place and change the parameters. But now we're going to put into place uh, a stove, a range, leave a little space. Of course, in this case, we can actually break the link of the stove. And we're going to put in a spice cabinet. I'm sort of putting these cabinets in almost randomly because maybe you would think a sink should be here instead of a stove. We're going to use a point to point here to insert it from one point to that point. There we go. And we're going to go even faster now and just insert stuff save and replace, edit parameters in place, etc. Moving stuff around. Even putting a tall cabinet into place. corner cabinets, upper cabinets. We'll adjust the blind portion of that cabinet. Bring it out like that. So this is basically the frameless system. There is still need of understanding how Fusion cabinets, how uh, Fusion 360 works so that you can adjust and uh, create your own cabinets to complete the library and generate unique work. This was a demonstration of the frameless Cabinet Fusion library. Download the library in the show link.